I want to give you something near and dear to my heart. My cinnamon bun recipe from my past bakery, Disco Light Bakehouse. Let's make it. So what makes my recipe special is that it's a cross between a Japanese milk bread and a brioche bread. And I really spent a lot of time coming up with the perfect recipe, something that I like. First, let's make the tanjang, which is a flour roux mixture, which makes the bread nice and fluffy. Equal parts of water and whole milk, some all-purpose flour. Stove top. Start mixing this around till it turns into mashed potatoes. So the idea of selling cinnamon buns was started during the pandemic. I had lost my restaurant job and I spent a lot of time at home trying to cook So one morning my mom and I made a batch of cinnamon rolls and we didn't grow up eating cinnamon rolls or cinnamon buns Whatever. I remember it smelled up the house. It was so fragrant. I was like damn I should make these so I started making a couple batches of cinnamon rolls just for fun And then I started giving them out to my friends and family just as a gift because I wanted to create happiness I wanted to share it with people. My intention was never to make a lot of money My intention was to bring people together during an certain time to create something that was special that people could share that people could enjoy that could bring a smile to people's faces so that's why this recipe is so special to me because it was created out of love it was created with the purpose of bringing people together see how thick it's getting so it's one thing to follow the recipe and it's another thing to actually practice the recipe so then you feel it you can sense if it's right and that's really special that's flow some days it's a little bit of this some days it's a little bit of this but if you're truly in a flow state then you know if you're like oh i ruined the recipe you're not in flow so this is what we want okay i'm gonna take this out cool whole milk we're gonna heat this up low simmer and let me remind you that this took many iterations many just dropping off at friends and family just to see how it was to come out with a recipe that i like that everybody liked most importantly that i like sugar and active dry yeast the milk is 100 degrees fahrenheit now i'm going to add it to my granulated sugar and active dry yeast dissolve the sugar a little bit and we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes a key point that i want to make is that this recipe was created in a dark time. Pandemic was happening. I wanted to bring people together. I wanted to get out there. I wanted to make something that people could enjoy, that make people happy, where people could smile and share with their family. Some of the greatest inventors, their breaking point became breakthrough and they inspired people and they changed the world because they chose to see the light and to transmute their darkness into something special to share out with you. If you don't give up on yourself and you keep the hope alive and you come from a place of love, you can always create something special and that's what this is. So this is not just a cinnamon bun recipe. This is made with love and care and positive intention. And this is made organically too in the fact that I didn't plan to sell it. I didn't plan to sell it in parking lots. I didn't plan to sell it in farmer's markets. I didn't plan to sell it at events in New York City and Long Island. I didn't plan to try to sell it in cafes. It was something that progressed naturally because I surrendered to expectation and it was coming from a good place of like, I want to make people happy. So getting an order for like 200 buns, that was a surprise that I wasn't ready for, but I made it happen. You can't be prepared for everything. Realize that in your darkest periods, you have the potential to create. And that doesn't just apply to food or this recipe. You're an artist too. Whether you sing, you dance, you paint, you're transmuting your energy, your passion, your purpose, your pain, your emotions into something that drives you for a larger purpose. It's not about greed. It's organic with positive intention. If you're coming at a place from greed and you just want to take my recipe and use it and make a lot of money, you can do what you want. But can you really go that far? It's like if you're a farmer and on your land you use a lot of pesticides, GMOs, and all that stuff. You might have a prosperous crop yield that first year, but what about the second year? What about the third year? What about the fourth year? What happens to your land? Does it survive? Is it sustainable? So the same thing with ourselves. What's your intention behind it? It's not so much what you do, it's the energy that you're in while you're doing it. So before I film this video, I set my intention to give you something from my heart. And every time I make these, it was the same thing. It was coming from my heart to make you happy, to bring you together. Balance, double dragon. You see the yeast is growing up. The yeast and sugar mixture, tanjong. Turn on low, add that egg. But you see how it came together like that? Cubed butter in gradually. Okay, now when it comes into a ball, now I'm gonna add my salt. We're gonna mix this for six minutes. I just got back from moving furniture at a family friend's house. They're fixing my car, so I had to help them out. In a bowl like that, let's let it proof for about 20 to 30 minutes. A lesson in that, don't automatically try to help people. Do what you have to do first for yourself and then help other people. Put this bag on. And you wanna let it proof for the first time in a warm place, warm, like by your stove. Now we're gonna make the filling. And I wanna let you know that I made this recipe by feel with positive intention, but that doesn't mean that I didn't wanna make money. That doesn't mean that I wasn't looking at my target audience 
audience looking at a marketing mix, looking at my brand affinity, I was. But I think the lesson here is not to get caught by the data, the metrics, it's to plan things, but then actually take action and do them. In my reality, there's no such thing as failure. There's only lessons. So keep trying new things. You can do the test, but then you gotta take action and see how it works. Don't fear failure. It's part of the process of growth and coming into yourself. Look at your life. How many times have you failed? Because when you fail, you're this much closer to a breakthrough. My recipe is good because I add a lot of salt. It's very important. You want an equal balance of fat, sugar, and salt. It makes it taste good, all right? Just like you need an equal balance of health, wealth, and happiness. Saigon cinnamon, it's quite good. You need good cinnamon for cinnamon buns, aphrodisiac, hey now. Put a lot of cinnamon in. So we use a stick of butter. You wanna have this softened, okay? And lubricate the pan. Not that you need to do that because there's so much fat, but hey now. <laughs> you shouldn't eat this every day. This is what you want. You see the deeper message that I'm trying to say. This is not just a cinnamon bun recipe. This is who I am. This is my love. This is my care. This is my dedication. And I just want you to know that whatever brings yourself joy and a spark to life, it could be singing, it could be dancing, it could be painting. It gives you joy. And then you share it out with others. That's truly special because you're changing the world in your own way, okay? So don't think that you're not special. You are. But when you're truly coming from love and not competition and your own personal self-growth and you want to do good for the world, you're not in competition with no one and you're creating your own reality. You're creating your own universe and good things are just going to come left and right. Like, oh, now this school wants to order 200 cinnamon buns. Now this event contacted me and they want my product. Or now this person wants it for her private party. This just happens because I'm out there, okay? Meet the universe, not just with a positive intention, but you have to take action and you have to practice to feel it. I know some people watching this are not going to care I'm just gonna use my recipe, I'm not gonna have good intention. But let's see how far you go with that. I can't take this recipe to my grave. It's not so much about this recipe, it's about the meaning that I'm trying to showcase, which is sending a positive intention and then taking action to what you believe in and how you can create abundance. You can create something special, magical in one of your darkest times. Create the reality that you want to be a part of. The dough, it should have doubled in size. It's a small batch, so let's take it out. Flour on the board and roll it out. This reminds me of when I first started making in my house on this little counter space. And when you look back on the things you've done, you won't be counting the money. You'll be looking back at the, the little experiences you had and the gratitude that you received and how you, in a way, changed people's lives, made them happy. You, you could say like, oh, Michael, you're just making you know cinnamon rolls but like it doesn't matter what you do it matters why you do it and the state that you're in when you when you make it when you give it out that makes all the difference don't put it all in one place like I did like that make it look like a uh, poopy and if you try to make this the first time it might not come out so well the second time will be better the third time could be better maybe the fourth time it doesn't come out so well again you're like what the heck but that's the part of that's the part of the journey that's the part of creation that's part of life right when you understand that and you could flow of change then your whole life changes and I remember going to the commissary kitchen too and like forgetting my tools like this and I made do. I like used what they had in the kitchen and a lot of times I just used my hand. Everyone's a foodie, like I'm a foodie too. Taste is important, you know, eating is a sensory experience, but I think when food is made by your grandma or your family or your loved one for you or someone that you know and they give it to you, then that just feels different. It's a feeling, it's not just sustenance. One of my other spiritual teachers said too, like don't eat food from someone that doesn't like you. And if you think about it for a second, it makes sense. I'm gonna roll it up. And the dough should be very smooth. You don't need so much flour. Here it is, the snake. So you can make mini rolls or how I used to do them. Now I take the snake and I bunch it together and now it's more concentrated. People say use dental floss or whatever. You can, but I like a knife. Since I'm gonna make six, I'm gonna cut it in half first. Take this one, cut it into three. One, two, okay. This is a big one, so I like to put this on the end. This mini one can go in the middle. And once you do this many times, or you do anything a lot of times, you start to get the feel from it and you know how it's supposed to feel in your hand. And that's when the magic happens. That's the muscle memory. That's when you That's when you align your intention with your action into one uniform force. And you're probably like, Michael, you're sounding weird right now, but like, I'm, I'm like, honestly, just think about it. Put it on the side, it's a big one. And I had different flavors. Go ahead, the world is your oyster. We all learn from one another, but then you put your own unique spin on it and you make it your own. And that's what you can do. That's what I want you to do. So here are our cinnamon rolls. I got a proof again. Towel over this. Another 30 minutes. After proofing for about 45 minutes. Egg wash. On the lower rack. Shout out the oven, mamma mia. 
I'm happy they actually rose because I thought my yeast was old and also I got sidetracked because I went to my neighbor's house to help them move furniture so the rise got messed up. I could tell by the look like these actually poofed up nicely. Usually on that second rise, they get a little bit more poofy. I haven't made it in a while. To check the doneness, take like a toothpick, go in and should come out clean. Good, see? If I was serving these to the public, I would spread a layer of butter on them, like a thin layer of butter, just so the top shine and then I put the frosting on. Like, yeah, it's too much, but I'm not gonna do that for me. I didn't put frosting on it because personally, I don't like frosting, but I switched between a cream cheese frosting and then a vanilla glaze, which had no cream cheese, so it was more shelf stable. These have been resting for about 10 minutes. I can't wait. I'm gonna choose this one and dig in. It's open, feel warm. I made this from my heart and I'm giving it to you guys. And I'm not saying that you should just give away all your secrets. What I'm saying is that you should release what no longer serves you anymore. Let it go. This was a cycle of my life. This was a chapter of my life and I don't feel like making cinnamon buns anymore. I'm like almost vegan, <laughs> but not really. But this is a chapter of my life and this is something that I wanna share with you now. I'm at the stage of my life where I can release it into the world. In the words of Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, forget what you did, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Check that out, nice and fluffy, nice and soft. And I don't remember how much money I made. I made a little bit of money. Actually, I do remember, but I don't, it doesn't stand out for me. What I remember most are the gestures of small gratitude, are the happy smiles on people's faces, are the people expressing approval. That's what I remember. That's what stands out to me. My hope is that you use this recipe and you share it with your friends and family to bring joy to everyone. And if you want to start a business with it and have great intention too, that's fine as well. Let's try this out. It's good. It makes me emotional. It's very cinnamon-y and it's not so sweet. That's why I like it. And it's really nice and warm. Go for what you believe in. Set positive intentions. Take aligned action with your positive intentions and watch your reality change. If a special someone's watching this right now, I love you and I love everyone. And I want to share this with you. This is for you. A big shout out to Uncle Bronze, a TikToker. He helped me realize that I should be sharing my gifts with you. I should be sharing my gifts with the world. So thank you so much. And there's something I want to leave you with. Whatever you love, this recipe, this person, if you release it and you let it go and give it out, if it's meant to come back to you, it'll come back in divine timing. Release the attachment and surrender to the process, the process of growth and evolution, because what you love, what's meant for you will come back. And I believe that. So just keep being you, keep shining your light, and don't be afraid to take a risk on yourself to do what you believe in. What gives you that spark of life? Go for it. I believe in you. And make my cinnamon bun recipe. And do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube as well. That'll help me out a lot. And you thought you were just gonna get a cinnamon bun recipe. You got a lot more than that, mamma mia. I'm gonna stop right now, even though I wanna eat the whole tray. Alright, let's stop. Because something really good can turn really bad quickly. Mamma mia. And that's a chapter of my life. Disco Light Bakehouse. Peace.